thank you for watching this video tutorial on the OTG decision points, also known as support and resistance levels. We offer two types of support and resistance levels here, or decision points, at the Oil Trading Group. Uh, the first that you see on your screen here is based on more traditional historical price action, uh, future projections, price action, measured moves, and those kinds of ideas. Uh, and they present to you a set of levels that are programmed to display on your chart on an everyday sort of basis. And so as you can see here, uh, you have a very clear, clearly defined support area here in this uh, green box and a very clearly defined resistance area uh, above it. The market on this particular day found support uh, several times in this green zone. We had one uh, quick sell-off through that zone, but very quickly uh, rallied to end the day uh, back at this resistance zone. This is the way that we use our uh, support and resistance areas for targets. So you would be looking long here based on uh, what the market was telling you, looking to take this area out up here as your potential target. Now, again, you'll notice that the market took a long time to get up to this area, uh, but as is the case on uh, most days, the market does move uh, in between these zones and does end up taking out uh, targets for you. That's one set of support and resistance uh, levels that we have. We also offer, uh, this is called, those are the primary. Here are your secondary support and resistance levels. These are some more of your traditional kinds of ideas. You have a daily pivot. You have the daily R1. We have marked on this chart uh, previous session high. We have a projection for range high for the day. Uh, you have the 1.27% range extension on either side. So this is more uh, traditional type support and resistance levels also. Uh, and we can turn those off. We also offer what we call our market maker level program. And our market maker level program uh, was specifically designed by an ex-floor trader. Uh, they have since been modified for screen trading and they provide dynamic support and resistance levels based on time and price cycles as measured through either previous sessions, the overnight session, or after the pit open. So you can see here uh, that these levels based on the overnight projections provided you with good support and resistance. Uh, those levels that then developed after the pit open, which were based on trading uh, also in the overnight session, you could see that they also provided excellent resistance. You found support in, uh, again in these areas. And then we have what we call our revision signals, which show up at uh, various points uh, throughout the day uh, based upon measurements of price and time uh, after the pit open. So again, you have a series of dynamic uh, and static support and resistance levels that are used and are incorporated into your daily trade plan uh, to provide you with daily uh, decision points as you continue uh, through your trading day. So again, as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the videos here. And until next time, we'll see you again soon.